Good morning, guys. So today we thought we'd venture a bit further afield from the centre of Carcassonne and have decided to rent some bikes and go for a little explore. So we are going to be cycling down one of the oldest canals in Europe, as well as hopefully stopping off at somewhere where we can go for a little bit of a swim and have a bit of fun later this afternoon. But first, there's one thing we need to do. We have to stop and get some breakfast. We have fresh French pastries. They smell incredible. This is the thing that I love most about France. They do part really well. Definitely. <laughs> but we're just going to eat these on our way to our cycle place. So the next place you'll see us is picking up our bikes. So we've just got our bikes. So they seem in really good condition. So we've got them from Evadios and I'll link them down below. Um, so the plan is just to cycle along the road to the Carcassonne train station and then from there we should be able to join the canal and then just follow the canal for the majority of the cycle ride so it should be nice and relaxing once we've got past this first little bit on the road. So we've just made it onto the canal. It wasn't that bad of a pedal down here. There was quite a few like cycle paths and the cars weren't that bad. Yeah. But I think now it's just like, I think they said nearly 20 kilometers along the canal to the closest like little village town place. So it should be nice and relaxing, just taking in the scenery. Should be really enjoyable. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. One thing to note, at least near the start of the cycle path by Carcassonne, it's very, very narrow. So if people are coming the other direction, you do need to find someone to pull over, which obviously isn't ideal, but it's better than getting run over. It's quite gravelly, it's quite bumpy in places, and I think the only reason for this is to dodge the branches. So the Canal du Midi is 240 kilometers long. It collects it connects to Luz, where sneak peek we're going tomorrow, to the Mediterranean, although it does actually connect with another canal. So technically this one path of water runs all the way from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean, which I think is pretty cool. It was first constructed in 1681. It took 14 years to build and men were literally using shovels and pickaxes to dig out this whole canal way, which I think is pretty incredible. It's been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1996 and it has 65 locks along its stretch, just like these ones. And if you don't, didn't know, a lock basically allows the canal to run from a higher level to a lower level. So you've got a higher level of river to a lower level of river and then a lock in the middle which allows the water level to either rise or fall to match the other, other side without essentially flooding the entire area. But yeah, it's really cool so far. In the UK, you have to do that by yourself. In, the, in France, they've got people that, at every lock that will do it for you. Quite cool. Much easier than in the UK because that is hard work. ride so far we've left the road now so it's really lovely the path is widened up feels like we're the only people here we don't know we're taking some people a while ago but uh, other than that it genuinely feels like we're the only people here so nice so peaceful highly recommend so i have to say that's a bit of a slow coach can't keep up with me as hard as he tries and bless him he does try so it's the one you have to stop and walk around a puddle I don't want to get mud, mud up my white shorts. Some person thought it was a good idea to white, white, wear white shorts on a muddy trail. Didn't know it'd be muddy. You're <laughs> wearing white shorts! <laughs> yeah. So we've just made it to the first town of Trib. So we've decided to explore this little village a little bit and see if there's a cafe that we can stop off at and it also helps to caffeinate Megan. How hard you're cycling, your legs always feel like jelly after you come off the bike. But we have found the perfect place for a coffee right on the canal, so let's go get caffeinated. 
So we've just stopped for a coffee. I've got an espresso and a sugar daddy. We've decided that we are going to carry on to the lake as it looks super beautiful, so much fun, and it's not included on most itineraries. So we wanted to show you what that actually is to do there for when you're visiting Carcassonne. Um, the rest of the route is mostly on main roads, so we probably won't film much until we get to the lake. Um, but once we're there, we'll show you what it's all about. So after a little traumatic bit along the road, <laughs> we've decided to stop at a little bakery to try and get a bit more energy. I don't know how much more French you can get. They have a baguette vending machine. <sighs> that was a long, hard slog. Yeah, the roads, some of the roads weren't meant for our bikes. We've got like road bikes and it was very off-road in sections. Yeah. <laughs> and very, very uphill. But we have made it to the lake. Well, let's go see what it looks like. Yeah. We'll leave the name of it down there. I can say it if you want. Megan will say it too. Le Lac de la Cavaille. And I'll put the name there so you know how to spell that. <laughs> Whoa. The water is so clear. Dread to think how deep it is. Apparently there's like massive fish like carp and apparently there's also eels in there. So I might not be going for a swim, but it looks absolutely stunning. It looks so blue and clear, but I think it's about a five kilometer walk around the whole thing. So we might do that later if we've got the energy, but I think now we're just gonna find a little beach because there's certain points along the lake where you can actually like stop and relax, have a picnic. <laughs> so much to do here there's like an aqua park there's giant slides you can um, go off there's uh, wakeboarding paddle boarding pedalos there's a zip line as well that goes like from one side of the lake to another and a high ropes course if you don't want to go over the water but there's honestly so much you can do you can easy spend at least a day here just relaxing and getting a bit of adrenaline in at the same time we're probably not going to i think we're just gonna walk around the lake for a bit and then head back to the bikes and then do a bit more cycling and see where we end up. So the sun has finally come out so I think we're going to go down for a little paddle. There's only one beach that's open at the moment and there are only certain places that you can swim from. I think it's because it's still quite early in the season um, but I think we're going to go for a paddle. Let's go! <laughs> So we've just made it back to our accommodation and we've got this amazing view of the street but we just want to give a little summary of today. It was absolutely amazing. My watch says we did about 15 miles but I definitely think it was more. I'm hoping it was more at least because it felt a lot more tiring. And It only took us about an hour and a half, two hours um, to do and that's just the cycling part but obviously we stopped quite a few times to take photos and by the lake but it was really enjoyable. We'd highly recommend you do it. It cost us 25 euros each um, for the bikes and then plus three euros each for the insurance. So 56 euros for the bikes, which was quite reasonable for the whole day. So we'd highly recommend you do, if you come to Carcassonne and you've got a spare day, we'd, this is definitely something you should do. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and see you in the next one where we've got something exciting planned. Yeah.